Hey everyone, welcome back to art class and you are watching the video for Batik Lesson 3 where we are going to be painting. So we've already drawn our sketch, our design for our Batik. Last week we learned how to apply the gel glue on our um, white bandana fabric by taping it down first, making sure it's nice and tight and then this week we are ready to paint. After this lesson, there is one more lesson that is going to show us how to get the glue off of our um, fabric, but we are not ready for that yet. So if you can um, have your batik laying flat on a table for another week, that's best, but um, we'll go over that later. All right, y'all, so our guiding question is still, what is batik? We've learned kind of what it is traditionally in maybe Indonesian cultures where they used hot wax instead of gel glue um, to save the white of the fabric. And they use wax resist. So wherever they put paint on the fabric, if there is wax there, the paint won't stick to the wax, so we will really see that happen today. Our learning target is I can paint my batik. So you're gonna be needing to bring out your paints that you picked up at the school. There's still some waiting in the office as well as the fabric, so if you have not gotten to the office yet, you need to get there as soon as possible because I really don't want you guys to get um, left behind and have to do all your work all at once. So please try to make it to the school. Everything there is free, waiting for you, ready to go. All right, y'all. Just like I always say, the start of every project that you want to do is to make sure you have all the materials that you'll need to complete it. So let's go over the laundry list of things you need for this. All right, first and foremost, most obviously, you need your batik. You should not have taken it up and made it all loose. If you did, you need to um, maybe watch the videos in the other lesson to learn how to make it tight again. For this process, you have to have it nice and tight, almost like a canvas. You need your color sketch, especially today, because whatever colors you use in your sketch, those are the colors that we're going to be learning how to mix up and paint today. You also need a water cup, and I literally just have a tin can right here. You can kind of see it's just a tin can, plastic cup, anything that will hold a good amount of water. Um, you need a paintbrush. I'm going to be using several different paintbrushes, different sizes, so that it, when I'm working in smaller areas, I'm going to use a smaller one, and when I'm working in bigger areas like the background, I have a bigger one. But if you only have like one paintbrush that will still work, it just might take you just a little bit longer. All right, um, I have a plastic tray, um, just literally little trays that maybe you had for food, whatever, just make sure they are clean. Um, you can also use a plastic um, plate or just a paper plate, something just to kind of mix up your colors in that you don't mind getting messy. And you obviously you need your paint um, that was provided for you at the school. And you need either a paper towel or just an old rag for when you need to wipe your brushes. All right, y'all. So that is our learning target. I can paint my batik. That's all the things that we're going to need. We're going to pause here so we can start talking about step one. <laughs> 